Hi guys, let me show you in this quick tutorial how you can unlock your FPS in Roblox forever. Now, you want to go into the description down below where you're going to find the link to this GitHub right here. And this is the Roblox FPS Unlocker from Axti. Now, you want to download the latest version that at the moment of recording this video is the version 5.0. And you want to go right here where you see the Roblox FPS Unlocker X64 Hotfix 1. Click on it. And this is going to start to download. Once you have it downloaded, you want to open that folder. And in your download folder, you want to right click into the file itself and you want to click into extract all. Click into extract. Now that you have everything extracted, the file itself, I recommend you guys that you set it up somewhere in your desktop. Because every time you restart your PC, you will need to double click into this program every time you want to play Roblox without any frame rate limits. So set it up into your desktop. And now you want to double click into it. It's going to check for updates and you can see this set minimize it into tray. Now, when you go into the show hidden items in your tray, you're going to see this right here, the Roblox FPS Unlocker. Right click into it. And here you're going to have some different options. The first one is to unlock Roblox player. This is when you are playing normally Roblox. The second one is to unlock Roblox Studio. Again, this is to unlock the frames, but when you are into Roblox Studio, check for updates. In here, you can set up FPS cap. If you have any problems with your monitor, your fresh rate, or your PC, you can, you can set it right here from 30 all the way up to 360. In here, if you have any problems with the unlock, if it's not working correctly, you can change the method. Advanced, I would recommend you guys to leave it as it is. And you can load some to settings, toggle the console, and exit the software from when you stop playing with Roblox and you don't want to have this open in your PC, you want to click into exit. And it's gone. And that is pretty much it, guys, for this quick tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials, reviews, and videos like this one. See you guys on the next time. Bye-bye.